Man, there's so many people who are just upset with, obsessed with Barbie these days. And you'll see why I just made that statement. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam, bam? It is your boy, Jason JV. Say welcome to another reaction video. As a matter of fact, I only watched half of this video, truth be told. And I was like, I definitely have to do a reaction video to this one. Because, for one, it's the homie Wee Scheme. You know what I mean? Shout out to Wee Scheme, by the way. Always got love for the homie. And much respect for Wee Scheme as well. Shout out for that coffee mug, too. I was hoping for a battle of wits, but you appear to be unarmed. <laughs> my man gets bonus points for that. <laughs> but anyway, so my man is going in on this girl who um, is filing, who filed, or rather, for a divorce. And look, ladies, I'm sorry, but with the way the uh, system is designed and how things are these days, you know, where it is much easier for y'all to play the victim card. It is hard to, to determine, um, which, which divorces are legit, which ones are not, you know what I'm saying? So how do I know this woman is not the kind of woman, you know what I mean? That's try, trying to take advantage of the system because, you know, let's, let, let's just be real with the way that the, um, uh, the uh, system is designed that women benefit from divorces the most. They're the ones who get... If the man buys a house while he's with the woman, the woman gets the house. The woman gets half of the man's money. So, I'm sorry, but see, when, when stuff like that happens for you, it's kind of hard for me to, you know, feel for y'all. You know what I mean? Because y'all are so quick to play the victim cards. And, and ladies know how to freaking, you know, manipulate their audiences, too. When they put their stuff public, you know what I mean? And just start... You know, trying to force it like the yeah crocodile tears and everything, you know, and trying to make this look, look like the victim and everything. So I mean, I'm sorry, y'all, but sorry, not sorry, but I mean, it is what it is. And and look, if you're a woman that's actually going through a divorce because you legit, uh, or because you, you you legit have some real serious issues in regards to your spouse or your former spouse or whatever, you you're going through a traumatic experience. My heart goes out to you. I feel for you. I'm just saying. There's just way too many women out there who know how the system works. They know how to use the system to their advantage. You know what I mean? And so they they do these things, you know, on a whim to allow themselves to get ahead. You know what I'm saying? So those are the ones that I have problems with. Not the ones who actually have issues and actually need to get a divorce because they need to get away from this this man that they're with who is actually abusive because I'm, I'm not going to sit here in front with y'all. Yes, there are some guys out there who are dicks, who are assholes, who are abusive, whether verbally, physically, doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Those dudes do exist. I get that. But there's also an epidemic. And you know what? There's a Bill Burr um, uh, stand-up special, a segment in Bill Burr's stand-up special that I do want to do a review of that will, and we'll get further into all that. But for right now, I just want to do this this reaction for Scheme going in on this girl because, trust, when you see this girl, you, you'll see why Scheme and I feel the way we do about this girl. So anyway, let's, without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. You know what I mean? By liking the hit, hit, go. Welcome back to Tea Time Tuesdays, the segment that exists because my wife said that the world needs to know what I think about random drama online that I'm unfamiliar with. And today we're checking out Brittany Vassoir. We're getting divorced. That girl has a very, very unique last name. Divorced. Sorry about you, Brittany. Just at this initial screen, dear lord. Damn! Damn! No. <laughs> Oh yeah, we know we we all know where where her money's going. You blew it. I mean that that should be pretty obvious. I mean, good lord, and I thought Kitty in the World looked bad. <laughs> Those YouTube ad revenue checks have gone straight into the Barbie procedures. Now I make it a. Ha <laughs> he said straight to the Barbie procedures. <laughs> Or gonna be like, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world wrapped in plastic 
If I test it. <laughs> you blew it habit to try to not judge people based on appearances they cannot control but i which i do agree with yes if it's a if you cannot control certain things about your physical appearance fine i will not judge you i absolutely will judge people based on appearances that they can control so which is fair if you can control it then yes, you do deserve to be made fun of. I'm just saying. So let's go, Skeet. Such as the ungodly amount of Botox in those cheeks and- I mean, come on. Come on, no way that's her natural face. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and your fake boobies. So I already know that Britney is a very, very genuine young lady. However, did her marriage that was probably used as a prop for social media more than an honest relationship ever have failed? Let like I said, you know what I mean? There be he's not wrong, man. There if odds are if this content creator, right, is putting her relationship on blast or whatever and is using it, you know, as a prop for content, whatever. I know some people are going to be in the comments, well, you, didn't you try to do that? Yeah, well, you know what? I took my shit down. Your boy's getting better at that. I own my shit. You know what I'm saying? And I try to do better by him. But I'm just saying, man, more often than not, though, you got these ladies, though, who use their relationship as scheme set as props. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Yeah, and then they, they, they come on here, they want to put their, their, they might as well blast their divorce and everything. And again, we don't know the situation. To be fair, we don't know the situation. We don't know if her reasoning behind getting a divorce is legit or is it just a means to get ahead? Because again, the way the system is designed, you know what I'm saying? Bro, let's go. Let's find out. Hey guys, so I have filmed some hard videos here on my channel in the time I've been on YouTube. This one has got to be one of the hardest. She's trying to do some Amber Heard level of acting with those voice cracks at the beginning. I mean, <laughs> all right, bro, let's go. Probably no, you saw the title. We but did. Yes, we are getting divorced. <laughs> I did file this week, so it is going to be public knowledge, and I felt like you deserve to hear it from me. Oh my God, who the hell cares? What do you mean it's going to be public knowledge? Do you think people are just sitting there searching through divorce filing records? <laughs> I know, right? Like people really care whether that you, you get a freaking divorce. And is the person you're, you're, you're divorcing, are they a, a content creator? I'm just saying. Or is hubby, is he a social media influencer too? And you needed to beat Exactly. Is he an influencer too? Him to the punch of the announcement. And not through gossip or whatever other means. I've shared the highs, the lows of my journey. Listen, lady, the fake crying and voice cracks would work better if it wasn't for the fact that you set up your lighting so that we could see how white your eyes are. You see something that happens when you cry. There's the little blood vessels in your eyes. They, they start to like inflame and get red. So when you're <laughs> fake crying. I know, I, I mean, at least put more effort into get some eye drops. I mean, get that freaking, you know, spray bottle with the water in it. Make sure it's water so you don't blind yourself. You know what I mean? To make it look like you were crying, at least. I mean, put more effort into it, at least. Bruh. The crocodile tears here are the... <laughs> I mean, hell, this, 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 this video, I, I'll give her some credit. I think, I feel like her video is more credible than freaking, um, than Bobby from Redneck Nation's uh, apology video. I'm just saying. Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. At least do the decency of getting an eye drop that makes your eye look red a little bit. Right? Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> a little eye droppage, spray bottle, spray the eyes, again with water, okay? Uh, I just like that people see this kind of thing as authentic. That's what makes me happy. Let's see what facts the people have to say you could do this you are strong you are kind you are smart is that an abridged version of the line from the movie the help you is kind <laughs> you is small <laughs> you is important you deserve some sort of uh, explanation or acknowledgement I, I definitely deserve that random lady that my wife told me to make i think the only ones who care to hear that are the ones who deserve it <laughs> Other than that, nobody really deserves that shit. Not okay! Bruh. 
uh, fun of. I'm sure a lot of people are probably watching this video who either don't know me at all or maybe used to watch my videos years ago and have fallen no. out of touch. So I do just want to say this is not representative of me or the content that I make. I'm sure you're some sort of beauty. It's not representative of you or the content that you make, but yet you're the one making the content. And you're, and you're and you're using it to, to chase clout for your channel. I mean, this just ain't right. Vlogger or something. Let's look through her other videos. Yep, yep. So you're exactly who everyone would have thought you were immediately by all of the, you know, plastic surgery. We all could have <laughs> figured what kind of content you made, but thank you for making us confirm it. I try to make really positive value add content. I've been consistent value posting add. weekly videos. I like. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, with your with your Prime Day videos, you know what I mean, your little shopping spree videos and everything. I mean, hey, I'm not I'm not, I'm not knocking the hustle, man. It is what it is. Make make your money however you you got to make it, you know what I mean? But I mean, I just don't know if that's if that's really valuable content. It may be for some, but not for everyone. Like the sales pitch here. She's not even trying to hide it. <laughs> I've been consistently uploading a video a week, so make sure you check out my other videos. Smash like, subscribe for the algorithm. <laughs> Bitch couldn't even resist plugging her channel in the middle of this video. Not right. <laughs> Even in the middle, it's at the first minute. It's when you would put the ad roll in. Is this video sponsored? Jesus, I wish. I don't think she thinks her audience is brain dead enough to sponsor this video, but <laughs> would that be great? I used to post a lot more personal content and vlog style videos and things, mm. but that has fallen off recently. I was correct about the vlogging part too. She was a vlogging channel, propping her relationship up as a prop instead <laughs> of nurturing it. Now, yeah. I don't know about the guy. He might be just as much of a scumbag as she is. Right. I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll give her that much benefit of the doubt. The guy could 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 have been a douchebag. He could have been an asshole and deserves to be, you know, <clears throat> deserves to be alone or whatever the hell. You know what I mean? Again, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know the situation. But the fact that, like, like he pointed out, the fact that she was, you know, plugging her channel, which, I mean, hey, look, in all fairness, it is her channel. So what, whatever video she makes, she's allowed to say whatever she wants in her videos. I'm I'm not gonna take that away from her, but I'm, but I'm with Scheme to a degree though that it is it is a little a little, a little sus for her to just be plugging all her other stuff while she's talking about something that is really deep and personal. You know what I'm saying? It, it is weird. I mean, I, let's let's not kid ourselves. And you might be thinking, how do you know she's a scumbag? She is either putting on the act of being a delusional scumbag, clout chasing, Botox filled maniac, or she actually is that. Those are the two options. Facts. He's not wrong. Now, people are complex and sure there's things about her that are probably great, but that's not what I'm concerned with right now. <laughs> Fuck it, Scheme. <laughs> I like what he did right there. <laughs> bad clout chasing, Botox filled maniac, or she actually is that. Those are the two options. Now, people are complex and sure there's things about her that are probably- yeah. Damn! I mean, yeah, she, she may have a couple of great qualities about her. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. Great, but that's not what I'm concerned with right now. I'm concerned with the part of her person that will directly impact the most people, which is the part that I am making fun of. Not doing well, but have to put on you know, a brave face and continue to go to work and be there for you. When you say put on a brave face, you literally take that to heart with putting on a face. Girl, you. <laughs> put on a brave face i mean <laughs> he said that she took it literal by putting on a face Woo! you got more layers of plastic on your face than me when i wear the goddamn mask oh, <laughs> oh. oh man <laughs> no he did it he did not just <laughs> Com compared to his Wii Skate outfit to her face. Oh man. Uh, honestly, homegirl has more plastic on her face than Kid Noel did in her southern video. I'm just saying.
Anyway. On the real, the kids don't deserve all this. They didn't ask to be born into your nonsense. Hopefully they do all- Oh God, if she has any kids. Whew. Man, I would not want to be any of her kids. Especially after she put that video out. Oh, hell no. All right, with the millions of dollars you probably have to spoil them with. But unfortunately, I have a bit of doubt that you'll be able to teach them how to manage <clears throat> that kind of wealth and privilege while also developing good character. I don't really know what the public perception is of my life or relationship. We don't care. But the reality is, is that... Oh my God, who the hell cares? Yeah, I, I would agree. No, no, nobody really gives a damn. Right now, we're just, we're just having fun with this. Uh, I am really struggling. <clears throat> oh, she's really trying with these fake teeth. Oh, oh, I bet you are struggling. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, look at that big ass fucking bedroom. I mean, yeah, I I'm sure your ass is struggling. You want to talk about struggling? Try walking a mile in my shoes, and then we'll talk struggling. I mean, bruh. God bless her for keeping to the act. Was the marriage that crappy that you can't even pretend to be sad for the video about the divorce? <laughs> and if it was, then why pretend? Why not just be like, look, it wasn't a good relationship, but I know why. Let me answer my own question. Sympathy sells. That's why. A lot of you probably... Sympathy, drama, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my, 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 my video that I put up and took down, that was proof. Drama sells. Sympathy sells. You know what I'm saying? Um... Because when, I remember when I put that video up in the, the original video that I had put up where I was calling out some people and everything on their bullshit, I gained a shit ton of subs. And then I took it down and all those subs that I gained from that one video all dipped. And what does that tell you? Drama sells. Sympathy sells. You know what I'm saying? Pain sells. Which goes to show that there are some sick, twisted motherfuckers out there that, that, that like that shit. Same. I'm asking right now is yeah. why, what happened, yeah. what went wrong, yeah. and I totally get that because the whenever tea. I see couples I know spill get the tea. Whatever, <laughs> spill the tea. <laughs> a half minutes in, did one of you cheat? If it were just totally <gasps> up to me, I would share. So we're doing a. Co I mean, yeah, all this, all this. She's saying a whole lot of not shit. Like, what, what happened? What led to you wanting to file for a divorce? I have yet to hear what this man did that would make you want to make that decision. Did he hit you? Did he verbally abuse you? Did he cheat on you? What did he do? I mean, man, I'm like a little over halfway through Scheme's video and I still don't know what, what caused this. Cop out, we're not even sharing why. <laughs> that leads me to believe that she's the one who did the infidelity in this marriage. The, see, there you go. Thank you. I'm glad he said it. This is what I'm talking about. Again, not all women do this, but there are a good portion of women. I would say it's at a point of an epidemic at this point. Uh, <clears throat> that, you know, they, they go out of their way to make money off of situations like this. A divorce. That's nothing to play around with. That's nothing to, <clears throat> you know, fool around with. And everything because there are some women out there that are actually going through real shit you know what i'm saying that actually have legit reasons to get a divorce they were either physically abused verbally abused a combination of the two or they were betrayed in some kind of way whether you know their <clears throat> their husband cheated on them or whatever you know what i'm saying or lied to them or whatever <clears throat> you know and she has yet to say why She's getting a divorce and she used this video again as a promo for her channel and her other content and stuff like that. These are the things that you need to watch out for and pay attention to because this is how you can tell the difference between a woman that is actually going through something versus a woman who is just using things like this to get ahead. I'm not at liberty. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see let's see though maybe she'll shed some light on that you know we have two young kids and one day they might watch this video she cheated i can't tell you we have kids that'll see that all right well you just told them but to be fair since i hate yeah she then odds are she was the one who fucked up and she's probably not the one who filed but i bet you the man was probably the one who filed everyone equally hence why she was so quick 
and wanted to hurry up and get in front of what's going on because maybe her man is someone that is an influencer of some kind. You know what I'm saying? And so before he gets out and tells his side, she wants to get in front of it right away. I feel like infidelity's involved with her being this vague. <clears throat> That's the first thing. And maybe mm -hmm. it was him. And she thinks her brand is more important. And that if he comes out and says it later, then the fact that she doesn't say it at all, even though you were cheating on, you didn't expose him. And then she could get brownie points later. Listen, these are the things that these people think about, by the way. I'm not just pulling this out my booty hole. Those <laughs> are the considerations made when deciding what to say or not when you're doing stuff for money or clout. Because if you're not doing this for money or clout, you don't do a nine, <clears> ten, <throat> minute video on it where you're saying nothing for most of the video you just say we're getting a divorce i'm not gonna tell you why please respect the privacy of my family that's why we haven't vlogged have a good day the end when you're fake as shit you get this and i get content out of it big reason that makes two of us and i am like almost <clears throat> scared to share this is because i know there's a lot of judgment yes on Me. divorce that's giving up <laughs> no no it's not judgment on divorce it's ju specifically judgment against you divorce happens <laughs> it makes sense <clears throat> i'm just judging you doing what's best for your kids you are a failure like yes trust me i know okay the fact that she mentioned failure and failing her kids and that's what made her sad again leads me to believe she'd been piddling the diddle with another doodle uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fact that that made her cry <clears throat> there you go there you go there you have it but ultimately, I feel like if you choose yourself and you choose your own happiness, that can't be seen as a failure. Um, but isn't that what you did that got you in the predicament that you're in? Because you chose to be selfish in that regard. You chose your happiness over what was right. Choose yourself and your own happiness. You Right? <laughs> you're really convincing me that you <laughs> were not faithful by how you're phrasing things. If you didn't cheat on this man, <clears throat> you really should have had someone proofread these statements. Because <laughs> Jesus, I don't know what else I'm supposed to take from this. <laughs> oh my God. One life to live and I want to be happy. And that's it. I know. You have one mm. life and you want to be happy, but you're also super concerned about your kids. Let me tell you, know, come here, come here, let me tell you something. You're the fact that it took her that long to even mention her kids. I mean, I don't know that. I mean, who am I to question her, her motherhood? But I mean, come on. The fact that it took you that long to get to the point about your kids. That, that to me says, says a lot. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Happiness doesn't supersede your kids' happiness. The best mm -hmm. thing for your children would be to stick through a marriage that's not the, your favorite thing ever if there's no abuse going on, right? Now, mm -hmm. if you're so painfully miserable that it's going to impact the kids because they see, like, this terrible relationship, that's different, but that's not the picture you're painting. You're saying, I can't be happy at this relationship. It sounds to me like you fucked other dudes, and you got... Exactly, and here's the thing about, about it, too, that parents need to understand... <clears throat> If there's, if you have a kid with this person, if you, let, let, let alone a couple of kids, few kids, whatever the case, understand the actions that you take impacts them. Where you, you know what I mean? The fact that you did what you did, well, I can't say for, for sure, for a fact, allegedly, for what, for what you did, allegedly, where it, it shows you weren't thinking about your family. You weren't thinking about the family you helped create with this, with this man. You blew it. Your decisions, <clears throat> your, your, your decisions that, that, you know, affect your marriage, you know what I mean? And the life with your family, it affects the kids the most. The kids are the ones that they're, they're going to be the most hurt out of this whole thing because mommy and daddy are splitting up. Why? Why? And they're not going to find out until, you know, they're, until they're of age. <clears throat> You know what I mean? Kids do find out. Trust me, I met several people, you know what I mean, who have parents that are split up and they know why the parents are split. <clears throat> Bruh. Ah, God. But if it's not that, then this is even more ridiculously selfish of you. My son yeah. Carter, he's six, and I don't know how he's going to take it, but I am being proactive. Hold on. 
I don't know how he's gonna take- I hope the timeline of recording and uploading this video is very strategic. My kids might see this video someday. I know she's saying, I don't know how he's gonna take it, which means she hasn't talked to her son about this by the time she's filming this and potentially uploading it. And, and let's not forget the fact that she mentioned that her son is six years old. I don't think this is the kind of conversation you should be having with a six-year-old. Do you think your kid doesn't know how to use the internet? He's six. He knows. Is he going to see this and find out this way? Oh, no. Not fair to the kids. But I am being proactive. I That's facts. It's not fair to the kids. I have a therapist like, who specializes. See, she goes on to explain specialized therapists she will use to help her son process his emotions through this. Um, Actually, I think that's the father's job. I think the father should be helping, you know, his his son process the fact that um, you're not going to see mommy as much as you used to. You've hired a specialized therapist to... Jesus, lady. The definition of throw money at it, the problem will go away. Mommy needs to be happy and sleep with whoever she wants. Remember Diego, the pool man? Daddy also doesn't like how plastic mommy's face is. Here's... <laughs> Daddy also doesn't like how plastic mommy's face is. Crap. Oh, that's bad. That's funny as hell, though. A licensed specialist to help you process your emotions, Carter. Oh, the distance that people like this have from reality is, is scary. It really is. Oh, God. I don't know why my wife wants me to laugh at people like this, because she knows that's where it's going to go. What, what else am I going to do? I've got the tism. My empathy meters are low. They're exceptionally low and turn into aggressive judgment when you put me in front of someone like that. This has been tea time with scheme where we spill the tea on shit <laughs> i hope we get more of these i hope we get more of these because i would love to react to them let's go scheme i don't care about until <laughs> next time i scheme you scheme we all scheme for tea in case you started to oh <laughs> we all scheme for tea let's go doubt or think that maybe she really was authentic don't forget that this Hey, there's your boy's name right there because, yes, I am a member of Scheme's channel. Look at that. Got my name, Jason JV, right there. Right right, right, right above uh, Josh and um, right below, is it, is it ja ja Jackalus? Jackalus? That's a very unique name. Part happens later. Probably we'll do a whole separate video on that. My next chapter and maybe taking you guys along that journey with me. Starting over, tackle everything that's going to come my way. And I am more motivated than ever now as a single mom to work even harder. That's right. She's plugging her future journey as a single mom. More content to come, guys. Yes, that means more reactions. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, see, the fact that she never mentioned anything that the guy did, but rather gave some hints and some clues as to some things that she may have done that caused her to get, get a divorce. And the fact that she used this video to promote her shit. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Bruh, that's all kinds of sus. Anyways, y'all, that was Scheme with, um, I can't believe this happened. <laughs> Bruh, that is funny as hell. <clears throat> so yeah. Anyways, y'all. Oh yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe to Scheme's uh, other channel. Uh, that's called After the Tone. Of course, named after uh, the album with the same name. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> so go check out his content over there as well. Anyhow, home with this video. If y'all are too, y'all know the deal. Click the link. In, his, in the description if you want to watch uh, this video in its entirety uninterrupted as you would like and of course um, Y'all know how to support this channel do all the uh, the YouTube doodads and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, yeah, thing thanks and uh, anyway till the next one y'all bless one. I catch y'all later. All right. Peace Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you Jason JV? What up Jason JV? Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next video. I'm going to say what's up to you. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. I'm going to be too.
too happy. I'm expecting shit. It's like doing cars all the time. So I'm ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!